today, and guess what? Huh? We got someone in the building. But before that person, you know, is introduced, um, I am Prince Rob Fuller, and this is your favorite show, Celebrities Join, right here on SME TV Live. Of course, guys, this is the third episode, and we're so excited. Anyways, no need for a short break, because this guy is really, really, really sensational. And guess who he is? He is no less a person, but the great Kenshin Palma, aka DZ West Soul, aka the guy with the juice. <laughs> Junior Navo. I mean, the man of the uh, oh, yeah. Mr. Eviction. Uh huh. Billionaire. Oh, that's the new one. All of the uh, <laughs> All right. Welcome to Juice. Of course. So. The name Dizzy West So means one of a kind. What's in the behind the name is legendary greatness, billionaire, and all of the above. Wonderful. <laughs> I tell you. <laughs> anyway, so so you know, I mean, Sir Leon's, you know, how would I put it? First. HMSL star, house is house with Sir Leon, I mean winner of the first season. And yeah. you're you're Sir Leon's latest celebrity. Yeah. For over a year. Yeah. And how's life been for you as a celebrity? Life has been good. You know, sometimes the shit and things you go through make you realize like damn, this is bad, this is good for me. But for real, bro, all what I'm going through right now and all the things that I've been saying. I realize there's no better life that I ever wish for other than this. Because this is the moment I feel like I'm a billionaire right here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm I don't know, like shit is popping up, but I can't go for life. No complaint. Yeah, no complaint, bro. So, uh, coming to your career, I mean, you started off as, as you said, from the streets. Yeah. And you were made by the streets. Yeah. And now you, 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 you're paying back the streets. Yeah. I mean, so, so. Tell me something about your career, you know, how you start, you know, you want to be a new, for push you on to where you are right now, and how, what do you do back for your community? Uh, so to be honest, but let me talk about a life coming up as a young man, and I was, you know, we said we we'll grew up on the west coast, the west side, and like, few people are there for meet with, and people are there for coming from the livelihood. But we people like we were like, we were living on the unfortunate side of life. Not knowing that. We were told, we were told us it was like a cost, but you know, when I actually got for real life, see, that was the best thing because it was preparing us for the better. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So the past was about the, let's say it's about a man that gave birth to two beautiful girls and the next day they are dead. That is simply to say, if you wake up with your dream today mm -hmm. and tomorrow your dream is crushed, mm -hmm. it is gone because there is no way to make it come true. But people like us will end on. So, we so fought so hard, we realized that we must fight for what we believe. So, coming back to you um, from the streets, I mean, you, you get a group where you've been tied. We're not a group in name, I guess. It's One Heart Nation. One Heart Nation. Yeah, so um, One Heart Nation, how it come about? It's come about. You know, like I tell you, there are so many people out there with great talent. There are people out there who can do more than you ever imagine. You understand? There are people out there, they even look like I should also paint you. It seems as if in a picture. You understand? Mm -hmm. So, 
I was out like a leader with few other brothers instead of living in a negative way. You understand? Every time your name is mentioned, it has to do with something that has to do with negativity. Mm -hmm. So we don't want that. We want to change you out. So that was the plan. But this plan cannot be executed with me being the leader, you understand, and not making moves. So I don't make a move. So whatever I'm doing right now, whatever I've been doing, is inspired me on. Yeah. So, so you're not the founder of One Art Nation? Well, I'm the founder of One Art Nation, but beside me, there were also people who give their heart, okay, so who give their life, and your who friends. give everything. They're your friends people as well. Like I okay. Rest in peace, soldier, I mean. black street family, mm -hmm. west coast. Okay. It's about me looking at you, seeing the best in you. And tell you, I'm not going I'm not work, but I believe someday you're going to be great. Just like I tell you, I'm a millionaire. And so, 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 from One Art Nation, you did um, a, a freestyle uh, called uh, Millie, right? A millionaire, Millie, Millie. A Millie. A Millie. And uh, this is uh, Lil Wayne's track, right? Yeah, that was Lil yeah, Wayne's track. And, and I, a Millie. Yeah, and, and Lil Wayne is kind of your mentor as well. So, now, like so coming back to a Millie, I mean, you do something by the clip where. People did not believe say it was real, but eventually, uh, behind the scenes, prove them say it was real. You actually bought what to my head. I mean, yeah, I <laughs> how real was that? Why you do that in the end? I mean, I, I just want to understand, waiting to give you the feeling for do that. You know, there's some point in your life, you know, you've got like only one bullet, so you just need to shoot the right target. Because if you miss, you're going to be fighting for another bullet. You understand? So I only had one bullet then, and that was for me to just shoot. I don't know what I was going to do. I don't be able to pass at the book plan for me. But I look at it like this is gonna be a video and the one who will for sale. All of us do that particular thing will make a bit different from the rest of mankind. And from nowhere, go straight to the place and <laughs> see the pints. Hold on. Yeah. And everyone was like, yeah, they don't know what but they've been there, right? Absolutely. I'm just surprised they don't actually yeah, know. Yeah, and, and, and funnily enough, I mean, you even your video director at the, at the scene was shocked. Everyone was scared. Because you said something planned, right? Did nah, you? that was just like, is it the word, like, is it like to use impromptu? Like, yeah. out of nowhere! <laughs> out of nowhere! So you just for stand you out, say, this is not what I do, I eat. Nah, well, I don't, I don't know if what I'm supposed to be doing, but I don't be able to see it. And I don't do that for me because I don't make first do it. Okay. I do it because it came out like natural. I just do what I had to do. Okay. If this girl will give me a gram, it's going to give me a gram. <laughs> you understand? I but know. I know for sure yeah. that I did what I wanted to do. Yeah. And I felt so good. Really? Me? Definitely. I as as we say just now, talking about Bruce Lee, you know, uh, Jackie yeah, Chan. Yeah, yeah. They can do some stuff that by movies, okay, if you say some ten and then uh, props. Mm -hmm. But eventually, you look at behind the scenes, they can really like suffer. You know, there's one thing about there's one thing about talent. Mm -hmm. When you're in the mood, when you're doing your thing, you when you're with that vibe, yeah. you don't give a f who's looking, you don't give a f who's gonna talk. You know, regardless of what they go and say about you, okay. you just want to show the world that this is your best moment. This is you mm -hmm. doing you. So it might sound or look stupid, yeah. but that's what it is. Okay, so this is where so as you go by. Um, officially, that's your music name, right? That's my name. That's your name. Okay, so kill me no more. My also my name is Billionaire. Yeah. The new name. We we'll call it the rebranded name. Can't change the billionaire. It's always been the name. <laughs> okay, so uh, coming to the real one. Kill me no more. It's absolutely the word. So. Fred K. Lego. Really small, small like a big kid with a come up. Me and E inside, you go see we two. He let me, I let him, we let myself bad when he come back up. We can help do we walk dead. If mama be like me, they call me a small man. But himself knows in a beginner, he make one. Papa to his face, begin give me the bad guy. Old to get stone, anytime I pass in front, I did drop like. When I wonder about budget, make it forget about me, begin make it pull me out there. Cause if I catch up, believe I go get the bad name. A word for a wise, it was so best. I cock, I 
stiff Make self begin make sense Look how I go with open tempo No make sense Love picking body What can give me this kind of stress Hello love Baby kill me no more Yeah Yeah Kill me no more Once now for baby Baby kill me no more I go die Go Kill me no more Once now for baby Baby kill me no more Make I go Blow Kill me no more Once now for baby Baby kill me no more Yeah Yeah Kill me no more is is a song you did some some time back like, but something yeah. something actually spikes the song yeah. which eventually people in Kale come because of housemate Serenium right yeah. but uh, I want, before we go to housemate Serenium um, I want to ask you about your rap life yeah. why you go for Cypher and eventually Cypher made you made people know who Kenshin is you know so yeah. so what did make you go for Cypher and which talent, when you spot the talent in rapping in you? The, the talent of rapping in you? Because back then, I would listen to different artists, different to, listen to different songs, and give me a minute or a day. I can sing one song for you. Understand? So I realized that I can rap people's songs, I can vibe and dance to people's song. What's wrong if I want to do my own song? So I started to learn practice, get for like that. You know, I started to practice, get for the best you ever write. Yeah. But I realized see, I'm getting better. Mm -hmm. I realized see, those are just how these stars. Everything I see my movement. Okay. So, like, I needed a, a very big platform to show the world. Okay. I needed this platform to let people know that this is what I want to do. You understand? So, I had to, like, come in again. And the way I cipher was the perfect platform for me. Just imagine, we don't have to be a young. We don't have my school, we don't have me in church, we don't have me in church, we don't have me in mocks, we don't have me in mocks. We don't have, like, every other place in the street we ever think about, you understand? We don't want to see me. So talking about this particular opportunity for going on TV, like on TV, the world show. So those are two of our opportunities. So I went in there. The, the, the motive was to win. Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. But you know, sometimes. And you went to the finals, right? We went to the finals. Yeah. And you know, but the thing is, sometimes when you're working with this team, mm -hmm. you gotta get, like, you, you need to get each other back. Yeah. Because you feel like sometimes you're wrong, you feel like sometimes you're right. Yeah. But for the fact that you're working yeah. with this team, with team yeah. even if you're wrong, you're gonna find a way to fix it up. Yeah. Actually, we did very well, yeah. but actually, we're not really excited. Yeah, yeah. But, but I can but, tell but, you but, one. But that made you popular. Yeah. yeah. But I can tell you one of. If anybody has for why this is the one, once we don't go lose the name of the Nation. Okay. Because we were off. Okay, so you went with the crew, the One Art Nation, as a team. Well, that is that. That's, 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 that's wonderful. Of course, uh, I think eventually um, the final way you go, you've been uh, clashed with uh, MIC's group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And eventually that MIC is also signed by KME. Yeah. And you know, you should not be knowing to come on, but you, you, you get that spirit in you like, I can't stop. That's one thing I always tell people, I'm trapped in the six. Trapped in the six. Simple, my concept is six, six, six. Listen, to other people, it sounds crazy. To me, I don't lose. To me, I am a winner. To me, whatever I'm in for, it has been given unto me. Just like the Bible says, Matthew 77, ask and it shall be given unto you. You understand? Mm -hmm. So wherever I go, I don't care who I am battling with, who's in front of behind me. Yeah. Yeah. My motive is to win. And if you feel like you're so strong enough, you have so much power, mm -hmm. I'm not here to fight your power fight. Mm -hmm. But I'm just going to let you know that less of power, but I'm to create a power. So, so and all those powers is not like, not like powers coming from strength or whatever. Yeah. These are powers coming from the inside of me, believing in me. Yeah. Some people might get the concept wrong, but that's not my responsibility. Okay, so um, this question now, one like cement, cipher and housemate together. Mm -hmm. um, you like? I'm also getting off some sound. <laughs> of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Coming to cipher, you 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 your crew went as far as you could to the finals. Yeah. I mean, eventually, when that nation became a phenomenon, all man knew what time. Yeah. You know, they know what. Like we thought it's the camera for you. Yeah. And, 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 yeah, I, I heard that. And then it trend. It did trend on social media. And in fact, people use it as a slang. Eh? Yeah. But again, something came about you where when you go for housemate salon, they remember they it gave them a reflection on cipher. I mean, they were like, oh, that, that guy is from cipher. So that connection helped you. 
in house with Sierra Leone. So you can take me through your you, you journey. I mean, I mean, before going to the house, how you be able to go through the stages of auditions, till the judge is the end up for like you as a person, and you end up definitely where you, you, you go, you tackle of from starting up from thousands of you know people to the 150 crew to the top 40 crew and then you end up make up into the house. In fact people would say you might be the craziest amongst they tell them they see ah this guy is so crazy or this guy is so but eventually you had your game going and that was you as you said nobody really can influence you and you back nobody influence anybody because you will know what you be after. And I want you to just you know explain to me was it like a game plan or was it like natural or was it like just you being you? You remember I just told you that whatever I do, I will lose. It don't matter what I'm fighting with. I am programmed to win. No matter how you look at it. Even if it is to you, I'm losing. Believe me, I am winning more than you mm -hmm. ever expected. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. There were a lot of great people out there, yeah. talented people, yeah. educated individuals. A lot of people from different angles of life. They were all good, mm -hmm. and each and every one of us could win this. Yeah. But I was there as the least educated. Well, I can't say the least educated, yeah. but maybe the one that probably didn't make it to college. You understand? And all those people felt like they had this thing in them to win. Not like they were questioned. Even though they believed they was going to win, their belief was not that much compared to mine. Mm -hmm. Because when I went in, I realized everybody wanted to win. Mm -hmm. I wanted to win too, but I also wanted to do a reality TV show. Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. So there was no game plan. There was not me putting aside whatever I did. In fact, me and I am posting, I can take to our Mr. Housemates, another fan club. I just want small WhatsApp. That's not even 24 people here. Really. Wow. Honestly, you are the real life I'm not talking. You understand? Mm -hmm. When I go inside, everybody was looking down like this. Now, for mm -hmm. those who watched it and those who know about that, I feel like even the audition, they said, I'm going to let this man go. Yeah. Because it's an audition, we don't stand in the frame. Yeah. So everybody was like, who is this guy? But it was not my focus. Mm -hmm. All the time, you want the man just go inside the audition room. And that's why I did my magic. Yeah. Well, I went inside the audition room. You killed it. <laughs> that's why I was there. And there's one to remember this I'm trapped in the six. And I will never lose. Actually, um, we can watch the audition where, um, you know, I think, I, was, I don't know if I'm the first or the second one, because they've been doing two auditions, right? Yeah. Uh, where you can get for a rap. You, you're a poet, too. Yeah, I'm a poet. And uh, Jimmy B, Uncle Jimmy, by the way, uh, we all give our respect, yeah. definitely. Um, ask, I think you can give an opportunity uh, for do something. You say you say you get up and you say okay, so do something. Let us feel you. Yeah. And you you go. Was it planned like so? Um, I mean, then I get. I'm praying. You just you just it, it just come. I mean, and you flew. You know, you went through it, and they all just enjoyed it. I think definitely that was the key. Cause you only you only tell and say I'm here at Skenchin. So this is it. Mm -hmm. You know there is something inside of you. Don't be scared to bring it out. You know what? You know one thing that would have more with certain people, especially the more with certain people. get something good side of me. Or mm -hmm. feel like for see now every, every morning for police thing from people. Sometimes just a simple smile from people. Yeah. Can make you do the extraordinary. Exactly. If you able to talk about it, talk about it, talk about it, talk about it, about it. Yeah. Tell you talk about no. But listen, that moment you are showing the world. You are telling the people what you are made of. Yeah. That's what And eventually, I mean, the whole panel was agitated. Everyone was like, wow, this guy, where is he from? And then you. Say, <laughs> I'm not going to call names, but even before the audition, when I go inside, before I go inside, the there were some people that were living in my Yeah, I was like. Anyways, <laughs> as you said. Well, okay, so um, eventually you may come into the house. Right? But before 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 going into the house, we get a, a name where you go by. Another name, by the way, where we now call it Junior Navo. Junior Navo. And um, I think this name you also use up into uh, Cypher. You being rap a well, song Navo called Junior Navo. Yeah, Navo. And you also called Junior Navo, right? Well Cypher, after Cypher, Junior Navo came after Cypher. Oh after Cypher. Okay. So so why Junior Navo? <laughs> <laughs> Coming up, I always have this focus. I always know what I wanted, and I know where I want to be. Mm -hmm. 
I look at Mr. Nago. Respect to him too. Yeah. And I saw him as a person that deserves more than he's asking for. Okay. I said like some other people who to attend a temple and they never let me down. Okay. I look at Mr. Nago and realize out of many Sierra Unions, he is that one person that you never able to learn. He got you. Okay. He's always there to give you up as long as you get to clean and purpose you now. You understand? I see Mr. Nabo, that particular person, for the fact that he can put him I know what I was to gain at him mm -hmm. So calling myself Gina Nabo is like a spiritual connection. Fisher. Yeah. <laughs> and funnily about the song, as much as I respect Mr. Nabo and he like the song, he like the song too, I also like prophesy that I'm going to be the man of the year. Oh. You understand? And after the song, I became the man of the year. Yeah. 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 God bless you, sir. For whatever you've been doing, I'm grateful. You want my mind never going to you know I got you. That's it. So as you said, huh? anyway, so Junior now when he, he also talking inside the song, say, I'm the man of the year. Call me Junior now. Call me Junior never when I'm stuck in all this never nigga. I'm Junior never got an empire, bitch. Call me Junior never. I'm the man of the year, nigga. Call me Junior never. Woo. Call me Gina Napa when I'm chilling and I'm bubbling and I'm living like I wanna, bitch. Woo, woo. Call me Gina Napa, Gina Napa, woo, woo. Gina Napa, oh, oh, I'm the man of the year. Gina Napa, brrrr, Gina Napa, woo, woo. Gina Napa, oh, oh, when I'm stacking all this pepper. Gina Napa, oh, oh, I'm the man of the year, nigga. Call me Gina Napa, woo, woo. Call me Gina Napa when I'm chilling and I'm bubbling and I'm living like I wanna, bitch. Get around, start with time, start on the line like money on mine Start on the line with the vibes that I rap, many words that I spit, many journey in your life Fall on the other side, drop on the other, I gain this money, I just don't give it there So from the rest, go slap on my own toe, never get more drop out on the side I can make a hit, I eat my coke and all those brains and bitch, uh, uh, understanding Life's not easy, when you want to go, uh, uh, feeling different, inspiration Got me thinking, keep it right up, do what you wanna do, do what you gotta do, 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 I'm the man of the year, nigga, call me Gina Napa, yeah, I love that one. I love that song. And and you do you do two parts of them. You do the first one in Sierra Leone, that's true. And you do the other one in London. Yeah. All right. So for the candy. Okay. So now coming to your housemate Sierra Leone career. What do you so like about housemate Sierra Leone? Generally, because you have in the kitchen, in the kitchen, the in the chicken <laughs> throughout the show. Um, I mean, you can tell me best moments of housemate Sierra Leone. I know it's three. It was like two months. Too much to think about. But which scenarios then in housemate? Well, we have, 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 okay. every moment in housemates, I'm telling you, for me, that was my best moment because those moments made me. I don't can tell you my best moments, but I can tell you, each and every you get what in housemates, it's special for it. You know, I can remember sometimes, of course, there were enough food, drinks, and all you can ever wish for. Yeah. You can't eat everything. Yeah. <laughs> there were enough girls and all that. You can't get into those pants. Yeah. You just go and do it. You understand? <laughs> Yeah, you can't even smoke weed. Mm -hmm. You just gonna focus. Yeah. And know you're there for a purpose. And the world is watching. And the world is watching. So what I did, I was like, okay, since the world is watching, I'm gonna keep going my day. So for every day, for every time, for all the shit I do, house make to me is like a book that I would love to say sweet memories. Yeah. If I had to write a book, right, I'll right. call it down sweet memories because each and every moment made me. Mm -hmm. And I'm so grateful for that. I'm a leader. The billionaire. I'm a billionaire. <laughs> Wonderful. So I mean, sum it, to sum it up, um, you you went to the fact to the semis semis housemate semis, and I remember when um, you were asked that, are you going to the finals? And you were like, I got this. We the go. No, we go no more. And okay, I think every week you will make up for eviction. Was I am Mr. Eviction. You're Mr. The one they want to the last day. day. I mean, everybody may see you like a threat eventually, because they may see you like, oh no, this guy not only for water, huh? but eventually you're like, this guy is still here. I mean, <laughs> take me through. Now, with everyone up for eviction, and I mean everyone, what is your plan to survive? Chief, like I always tell you, like, there is no different formula, there is no different strategy. It's always me doing me. It's always me doing things that I know it has to do with me. It's not about me copying someone. 
It's not about me doing extra things just to please the fans I do achieve. It's been, it's been like that since day one. From the very first day I was offered eviction, the fans I did believe in me. Not because I got different quality. They, 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 love the, they love the nigga for the juice, you understand? And right about now, it's gonna be me and my juice again. It's gonna be me and the vibe. I try to keep it classy. You know, Chief, it's about being different. So eventually, everybody will be the nominate you anyway, right? Yeah, so, so generally, be the camera for a vision, every color vision. Do you mean, you mean, I want to ask you if you get any feeling why that really happened? Because I wear a light every day. Yeah, you 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 wear a light every day. So I realized the first week we didn't come up, second week we didn't come up, third week we didn't come up. That's what they tell me say. I just go in there. You know, there are a lot of people looking there and say some looking at my office and looking guess we don't go one, two, ten, we don't know what's going on. But they don't know. Yeah. To them, they felt they felt like they were doing the best of them, mm -hmm. and they didn't know what I was doing. And nobody don't know anything happened outside. That's another thing. At what point you been realizing you had fans who you know you don't even get? At what point? Because I know they use, well, one way or the other, you must get out fights like, I'm coming up with eviction every week in and every week out. How am I going to make it? You know, was there any like spiritual sensation in you, like something where the Gita believes it? For every time in them come up for eviction, I survive. That thing realize how much of a strong fan base it is. You know, imagine every Sunday them come up, they never pause. So it's a first place, I'm not getting people out there fighting for me. So all I need for to just keep these people giving them what they want, keep them up and do what they do. That's what I did. Chief, honestly, I don't know why my name is becoming why my name be coming up every week. Chief, I know a lot of people see me as a as a threat. You know what I mean? Because they know I got a juice. <laughs> you know, they feel like whenever they try. They try to, they, like, they, whenever they see me, they feel like there's something about this nigga. Like, we need to get him out. Because at first, I thought it because me, me, because of the lady, they pair me with. But I realized, these are just ladies, and they've got no effect on me. So if someone has an issue with anybody, it has to be me. For the fact they select, it does because I'm there, and they want me out. But you know, Chief, the fact is, it's because I got a juice. And uh, they do the best they can to get me out of the show. But let's see what happened though, because I know I'm still in, Chief. Finally on stage um, at Bintumani uh, Conference Center, you know, the first lady was there. And, you know, they crowned you the winner of House Mid Seven 2019. Hey, who the winner is? Ladies and gentlemen, the winner for House Mid Seven 2019 is Kendrick! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, security. The winner is Kenshin Pama. The fans, oh my God! Kenshin Pama is the winner of Housemates Stadium 2019. Let's let's have the first lady present the check to Kenshin. Kenshin Pama is taking home one hundred million lions. Oh my God! Cameras, please. Cameras, please. Ladies and gentlemen, a winner for House Mid Seven 2019, Kenshin Kenshin before, before we receive our victory. And I was there, everybody was there actually, and those of us who witnessed it, it was a wonderful moment. And um, I mean, what was the feeling like? You know, the whole of it was not Sierra Leone, by the way, it was the whole world was watching at you on that day. And you know, in fact, even People that don't know say they get the feelings like you're a winner, you know, even before you were crowned. So, I mean, how how was the feeling on you, on your head, on your shoulders on that day? How was it? Is it expressible? Hey, hey. Hello, hey. Um, um. First of all, I want to say thanks to the Almighty God in heaven 
for making this possible because now you know more to make it happen and to AYV and Fisel, you know what I mean, to the fans, to Sierra Leone, to my fellow housemates, so it's a name we person out there. We're not give up, but vote for me. Man, I just want to say thank you. I say plenty, plenty thank you. Because as the saying goes, every finish line is the beginning of a new race. And as I don't win this again, it's a lot more to come, a lot of responsibility don't put up on me. And I said thank you very much. It is not expressible. But remember I told you everything about Absolute. If it is a book, you can just name the book. Sweet, Sweet memories. memories. Sweet, Sweet memories. memories. You understand? Because mm -hmm. that's when I realize I'm destined for greatness. That's when I realize there is so much more to life yeah. than the things I've, I'm seeing, yeah. than the things of God. Mm -hmm. You know, I learn to believe in me each and every day. Yeah. I learn to believe in me each and every step I take. I learn to believe in me that I realize so much the fact that if I believe so much in me, mm -hmm. there is no doubt I also believe in God. Yeah, sure. You understand? Yeah. So, so if, so, I, if, if I can borrow your word, yeah. mm -hmm. if I can borrow your word, um, there's a point I offer you very clearly. Um, you can get a mentor or you can get somebody really admire. For example, in your rap game, you get a really, really, really admire. And in Sierra Leone, you get ambassador, Nabo, really, really admire. But it not necessarily means that you for do like them, behave like them. You can admire them as mentors. You can want to be like them or be more than them. But eventually, you get to be yourself. Because I think waiting got you through all of your career, as a, as a rap artist, as a, as a reality TV star, the way you be yourself. Because eventually you don't mean copy, you don't go with no style of any other person, you wear yourself, and none of them make people end up like you. So uh, that's, that's a very key lesson, where I think say fans are like you for that, you get for be yourself. If you fake yourself, definitely they will not see you fake yourself eventually. So that's a very good point. Now, outside housemate, you went with the juice. You came with the juice in housemate, sorry. And it's another thing where you come with the kind of slang. I mean, you always bring slangs around. Now, the juice, you went here, I got the juice. Wait till the juice. Anyway, so we want to talk small thing about the juice, but before they talk about the juice, I don't know why the juice video, short one, sweet one, of course, and I know the juice video is very popular. <laughs> and we'll come back and ask Kenshin Pama why the juice. Let's enjoy this one. Is that, is that, is that? Jamie, my baby, so crazy, I'm catching. You know, I got the juice. Started for the bottom of my butt, and I'm chilling like that. I got the juice. Baby, what I feel. Jamie, and I said, I got the juice. I got the juice. Hey, I got the juice. 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 What a good you give, they black me, my black go like sit. Every name they I like smoke to me, and I got mommy that I know sweet, I know sweet, and I keep it real, and I got a whole world looking after me, but I got a yes looking after me. So I do what I do, it's gotta see. It's a whole lot of guys, she's a wheel of trust in it. Then Mr. Kenshin, the juice is running, the cousin is working, the money's so juicy, the money's the coming, and the love is amazing. What? What? The love is amazing, the first thing crazy, like fire, the money, the juice make you live like Eddie, and just be a cousin, be like, hey, get you that class, I got a juice, hey, I got a juice. Because you go into the house with, with the flavor already. The, flavor, yeah. the juice, what's in this juice? I mean, the juice, the juice, the juice. What's in this juice? Go ahead and chip inside the house, eh? I got, I got, I got, I got, I got the juice and I'm popping the juice and I'm making it sweet. 
Tell him about the juice. I'm looking to give him a fatty squeeze of ketchup. You know I got the juice. I started with the butter and bread and I do like that, like that fool. I got the juice. If you feel what I fit, tell me not I got the juice. I got the juice. So the juice is about the flavor. You know what I'm saying? Sweet by sweet. Mm -hmm. So you know what I mean? The juice that are particular to me, they can make the shit sweet fast ice sweet. You understand it? The juice that are particular to you, so when it comes at once, then they are small. And you know then I get your jello jello. And then you know what I'm saying? Anytime the juice boss up, so you know what I'm saying? Imagine right now, maybe if I get this particular. I was asking each time, you don't think we're going to motivate you, get the juice right there. You're going to have to get out of the world. <laughs> So, why the juice? I mean, inside housemates, the juice was there. Mm. Why the juice? Was it a slang? Was it a campaign strategy or anything? Because it ended up becoming a slang. At the time, she knows that you name the fella again in Saigon, man. I make you find forget the right name. You name the fella again in Saigon. Just imagine if I be the missing when it has to be. <laughs> so when they miss up the juice, what's happening? The juice fell on me. Exactly. And then it's like when everybody see the juice. Yeah. So I'm asking look, when you see, I know we call the post in but it's a housemen that we also have a house with nothing missing can cheat. No, 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 you get the juice. That's it. That's, that's, that's it. it. If, if, uh, if you guys got the same can cheat, you get it. Mm, that's it. Yeah. That's all. That's all. Yeah. yeah. But you know, it's. The juice is about you. Mm -hmm. Look at you. Mm -hmm. Look at yourself. Find the good things inside of you. Mm -hmm. Not listening to what's possible to tell you. Yeah. Of course, listen to what's possible to tell you. If it's positive, if it's a direct part. But if there's any way to pull you down, where the sky for make you feel discouraged, look bad about yourself. Mm, you're not care. You understand? Eh? Because it, my mind, it broke down. Mm -hmm. For me. Mm -hmm. Not only for me, for teach the world. Mm -hmm. For make legacy. That's even if I go tomorrow. The world no one will not say it's wrong with us here. So if anybody tries to come with disrespect to me now at the same time, I cannot go take on. You understand? Because yeah. legendary, legendary is something that I am not go to So, so um, you are now, an, you, I mean, African ambassador, AYV ambassador, and eventually went to London. And Kenchi in London, was it a dream before it became a reality? You are with, you, you don't only really see, see you're definitely going to be there. It was the reality in the future. Explain further, please. That's something I wished for. <laughs> I mean, Kenchin in London. Yeah. How, 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 how did it happen? I mean, you know, after you've been housemates early and then, you know, you got this news that you're going to London. How, how, how was the feeling like? I gotta be honest to you. No one go give me. I know somebody. I know one go like big uh, talking about it. The other villages they are salon. You understand me? So when I when I just called that I will be going to London, I was like, damn. First of all, I booked me. I don't be sure send me. So I booked me before the bill. All my papers and all that. Like damn, going to London for me the best me. So I look at me at the mirror, I was like, damn, man, you're looking so good. Mm -hmm. If you go to London, who's kind of you? He said, if I was always thinking all that shit, talking about getting a London name. Yeah. But you know, truth is, London experience, I realize, see, my life is not what it used to be. Mm -hmm. There's so much changes. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what I, of course, you know, can keep on my way back. Yeah. Not to not change, but the only difference, mm -hmm. like you say, keep it change. And imagine back then when my mom would beat me, anytime my TV change, but it's so good, that's my TV change. That's the point! Oh my you god! Know, yeah. Okay, so wrapping up your career, even before you went to London, um, you started off with the AYV films, and you became an actor. I've you, all, I've you, not become an actor, I've always been an actor. You've always been an actor. Okay, for movie scenes, you, 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 you started movies. And here in Sierra Leone, you know, we movies them in Nante, you know, in the line, we don't do movies there, but I mean, we're not known for movies yet. Mm -hmm. But definitely last year it became, you know, we industry became boom in terms of movies and you feature in about two or three movies, right? Right? Already, you, you've been in two or three More movies. That. Yes, and um, there's one you, you, you the f which one is the first one last year, actually? Is it the TV series? Yeah. Okay, so Puyan. of course, Puyan. Yeah. Okay, so AYV actually did premiere that one this week. Yeah. And you also feature one with, um, we bought her, 
You know, she have? Yeah. Uh, what was the movie? It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I, I we also see the flyer around and so so how is life as a as a rapper, as a poet and as an actor? Good. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. So so I'm, I'm people in the I mean the corner tell you for do movies or you can get a passion for doing movies? Are you called as an actor or what do you think? I always have passion of loving myself. So whatever I do and whatever it takes for me to make me smile, I'll go the extra mile. Do you see yourself as a prolific actor in the future? Like one, you know, Jimmy, Jimmy if I could say? No. Oh. I see myself as this worst so the greatest. Okay, so meaning you definitely get to do music still, you do your acting still, I and am, every other thing. I am was so. Okay, so let's come back to um, your next project, because um, AYB is also working on having you um, your TV series. I think Kenshin in London is it? Is it the name of it? Kenshin in London. Kenshin. Yeah, take take me through that link quickly, please. So I was in London and I did so many things. I have been at a show. I do show in London. I release me, but. You see, well, sometimes when I tell you about people like this, as much as we think all the things happen for the normal way, but people like you, your destiny, things not to, things not happen for the normal way. Let's talk about a normal celebrity artist. The first thing you have to do, you have to get a small collection of songs, you understand, get a small place, do your show. That's the start. I saw we all the wish for that, but my story will be different. I not ever ever make sure that I'm talking about small community yeah, yeah. But when God on the academy first show, that's what's happening. I was taken out of this country. Yeah, your first show. Oh, that's your first show. Mm -hmm. So I can tell you see my very first show ever in my life. I don't know how long now. And it was excellent. Classic. It was so classic mm -hmm. because the people that went there were people of class. Mm -hmm. We are people of hierarchy. Mm -hmm. We are people who you wish you know. Mm -hmm. And the moment was priceless. Mm -hmm. That was me up on the stage, doing my thing, mm -hmm. rapping, and the people screaming out for Kenji Pama. And Kenji Pama was just this guy. At Bokuma no I did the music side of me, then just to see me, we now meet. Mm -hmm. and, and people jubilated like that. I was like, damn, this is, this is more than a blessing. So you see, that's why I tell you about me. Whenever you talk about me, you can't just compare me with other humans yeah. because my intention is not to be like them. Yeah. I am a West, so. Mm -hmm. Whatever happened to me, that's my story. Mm -hmm. There are a few people who have so much respect for my life, and these people are the love of my life. Wonderful. And, and that, that's another slang where um, we get in the house, because yeah. um, when you're in a, when you're in a diary session, um, and then he asks you, say, for talk to your fans then, mm -hmm. and make them vote for you, and you're like, anybody where love me, mm -hmm. where for see me stay in the house, mm -hmm. they're the love of my life. <laughs> I think that that, like, that was the whole point. Yeah. yeah, I told you. I mean, that day repeatedly, no, 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 no. we did come up for me once. Yeah, so that's what so, you know. Like, we move into the top. Mm -hmm. As much as you believe in yourself, mm -hmm. as much as you know you can be whatever you want to be, mm -hmm. there are some people you just you need to keep them around because yeah. you don't know their destiny. Yeah, Sometimes you have connected destiny, mm -hmm. but if you're bad to each other, you can get the best. Yeah. So be be they negative or be they positive for the fact that they watch you, they follow you, they're the love of your life. One way or the other. Because a fan is a fan. Once they watch you, because what, what, what you can think generally, um, you wanna necessarily criticize your fans because they watch you video. You know why I know personal to me? Because I am loved by God. I'm also loved by Satan. <laughs> That's a line, that's a punchline. <laughs> okay, so Kenshin, um, we come to the end of the show now, and um, we fans them out there. Definitely, you, 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 you're a celebrity in, in Sierra Leone, but one way or the other, um, this day reach some other you know, people about there where go out for how they get to you on social media. So, we, you go out for like share with you, your most active platforms then, so that fans them out there go follow you like. When you think say like okay, go to Facebook, Instagram, this, that, that, but which platforms then you so locked on that anything you do, fans then will not say, oh yes, my bro is on this or Kenshin is on this. One way or the other, which platforms that you are for there, you fans then get out there. Facebook, Kenshin, 
As long as you say this spell my name, just go to my Facebook, type Kenchi Pano, like K E N C H I N E P A L L E R Kenchi Pano. You're also gonna Instagram. Same. You search for Kenchi Pano 16. Okay. You understand? Yeah. And you're also gonna YouTube. YouTube. Such a thing. It's one in Kenji Pama. Okay. Just that Kenji Pama. So, so you did on any uh, other social media? If you media? search Kenji Pama, no, it's not just about Kenji Pama. Let me say, you search for Kenji Pama. Like when you go YouTube, search also for this word soon. Okay. You understand? Type when you go Instagram, search for Kenji Pama 16. Because now one person, you know, just, you know, I mean, now one person with different names. Yeah. Then. yeah. So, so, so any other platforms apart from the one in there? Yeah. Do you, do you, do you TikTok? No, I don't think you don't take that. I'm too old for that. I feel like, I feel like I'm too old for that shit. Are <laughs> you old? That's what I feel like. I'm old. Listen, yeah. I feel like you feel like you're old for that. All right, I get it. I get it now. Okay, so um, wonderful. So it's not again social media handles uh, handles it now and um. Kenshin Pama or Dizzy West Soul. Any of the platforms in Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Of course, huh? these are the main platforms where you get, um, you know, Kenshin and follow up with, within career and uh, live as an actor, live as a poet, live as a rapper reality and TV reality TV star, star yeah. and whatever thing you know. I mean, so Kenshin, mm -hmm. one for the final, but what thing that you ask for to your fans then? Uh, so I want you to look out, watch out, watch out, watch out. I'm coming out straight to you. I got videos coming out so and two brand new song called Samantha and Six Lab. This is different. It's nothing like the song she had before. If you may sing this song, I listen to this song, I say, hey, can you make that pull on my like, yeah, That shit is serious. So to all of you watching, I just want to tell you I love you. God bless you, whatever you're doing. May God bless you also. Because you need to believe in yourself. Motivate yourself every day. Look at yourself and see the best in you. Yeah. Don't let nobody, don't let nothing, don't let no one bring you down. Because yeah. you are born great and you are destined for greatness. Love you. Okay, so uh, fans out there, um, it's been a wonderful time. I mean, a sensational time with this wonderful guy, Dizzy West, so Kenshin Pama. And uh, I mean, we definitely get to get you back some other time in some other, you know, program. Definitely for talk about your career and what you to do forward from that point. But um, it's been wonderful with us, and we we are happy we had you on this show. And nevertheless, as we left you now, don't forget it's celebrities join right here on SME TV Live with me, Prince Ralph Photo, and the team and the crew behind this uh, wonderful production. We want to say a big thank you. And um, as we come back again, the next episode will be here shortly with the next celebrity. Don't forget, it's celebrities join right here. Goodbye. Peace.